Hi, it's Cassandra here, the neonatal director with Maddie's University and American Pet Supply. Um, I am here to show you how to tube feed a kitten. Um, we got in this family, a mom with babies. Um, and they came in to us with us uh, with upper respiratory infection. Um, and that means, I don't know if you can tell, if you can see this little guy, how he's mouth breathing a little bit. And you can hear him snuffly. So he's having trouble nursing for mom, so he's been losing weight. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and tube feed this baby. Um, since he's safely right now, cannot uh, suckle a bottle without it getting into his lungs. So first thing we're gonna do, I got my tube here. This is just your normal catheter tube. Um, this one is a 3.5. Um, and as you can tell, it already has little little tiny holes at the very bottom if you can see on each side and that's how the milk comes out you do not have to cut this tube please do not cut the tube because it will um, damage as you're going down um, it's going to be sharp for the little belly so we don't want to do that um, and so I got my tube I got my syringe as well and I'm also going to measure to make sure we know where the belly is on this kitten so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tip of my tube to the tip of the nose to the bottom of the rib cage which is right here that's where the stomach's going to be and this is where my sharpie is going to be so i got my sharpie and i made a little little spot there that's how i know where to stop when i'm filling up with the milk so let me get my syringe and i have my milk um, if you're doing a two to one ratio with your milk just be careful that sometimes it will clog your 3.5 tubes if you have a five tube, um, it will go through it, but sometimes you gotta do a three to one ratio or it will the milk will be too thick to actually go through the tube. So now that I have my little baby, I'm going to burrito wrap. So that way those little arms don't come through. I don't want her accidentally pulling the tube out. We're also going to weigh the kitten, of course, to make sure we know how much the kitten is going to need. Remember, it's five grams per 100 grams of weight. And so this little guy, I know, I'm sorry, weighs just a little shy of 200 grams. So we're gonna go ahead and do eight. Do you hear that? That's a stuffy kitty. That's a really hard one. So I'm gonna fill her up, fill up my syringe, and then I'm going to add my tube to it and I'm going to push out some milk to get all the air out of the syringe and get down to the number I want. I want it down to the eight. Perfect. Okay. Now I have that. I'm going to grab my baby. Wrap. I know. So I'm going to wrap her so her little arms doesn't come out. There we go. It's like a little straight jacket. And then you wanna make sure your kitten does not have teeth. If your kittens do have teeth, you're gonna to have to wrap that bottom draw, jaw or the tube will break. When they're biting down on it, they'll split the tube in, uh, the tube in half. So then I'm gonna grab my tube. It's gonna go on the left side of the kitten's throat. I know, baby. We're gonna go straight back. It should be able to slide right on down. You see how smooth that is? No jagged, no nothing. Your kitten should still be screaming. That's good because that means that it's not in their lungs. If it's in the lungs, you would not be able to hear any screaming at all. Oh, you get keep getting your little paw out. Okay. Then you get to. Yep. And see every time he cries, you see how it's moving? You want to just push that back. Sometimes what you can do is you can actually hold it in the front too. I know. Yeah, I'm sorry. That is, you hear all that gargling? That is actually mucus in the back of his throat. Yeah. And then once you're done, you go ahead and fill up with the milk. Grab the tube, you're gonna pinch it, and then pull it out. Hi, there you go, there you go. And there you go. And then you have a full baby. So then you're going to want to go ahead and weigh the kitten just for your records and go ahead and stimulate like normal. Um, this baby, we also are nebulizing. I can show the little setup here. 
Um, so yeah, so we have a carrier here that we're gonna put the baby in. And then we close it. And then we have our nebulizer sitting here attached right to the cage. So that way we can go ahead and cover it all up and go ahead and get it nebulized. So that way it will help open his airwaves and hopefully we can add him back to his mom um, where he can successfully, successfully start nursing again. And that's it. Thanks so much.